I was listening to oh. Hidden oh. Brain. It's a great po podcast, Hidden Brain. And he was talking about your future self. I found this fascinating. When, do you remember when you were young, like 20, when we first got married? This oh, yes. Be, yes. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't know. I thought you were making <laughs> a general... Yes. Oh, right. Yes, now yes, I'm talking yes, to you. Yes, right. And, well, and you. And you. Whoever. When you... And you might be that age now. Oh, my God. And um, did you ever think about your future self? I certainly didn't. They found out that if you think about your future self and if you can have a relationship with your future self, you are more likely to do things now that will help your I future think self. that sounds perfectly right. So, for example, and, and how you can do this is they've done this with students, they've done research, is you write to your future self. But here's the other thing, the future self writes back to you. So I found how that... How does that happen? Well, you become you said, your future self. slightly frightened. <laughs> you yes. pretend that you're your future... So you, you know, oh, so you pretend... Yeah. So it's yeah. all pretense. Well, but you can yeah, but embody you can your embody, future self. Exactly. You build a warm relationship and you're more likely to save for your retirement for this future self because now you know the future self and you have some empathy. What if you knew that the future self was always going to make money and everything would be always great? Great. Because that's what my future self was. And look where we are now. Exactly. <laughs> I rest my case. Yes, I've always thought, you know, I've always had that optimistic thing that great things will happen if you just keep doing stuff. Well, that's different from what... Ah, but this is totally different. Well, don't you see that? No, I see that, yes. <laughs> you don't see... Do you not see that? Come on. So you're just saying, I'm optimistic about this future self, but you're not really seeing your future self, are you? You're just hoping right. that you'll make oh, money. And right. This is kind of actually building a relationship with this future self, which for, for me, certainly when I was, was a stranger, I didn't even think about my future self. I didn't think about retirement, what this person would be needing. Right. I didn't think about eating healthy to have a healthier future self. No, you don't uh, like it, do you? Oh God! What? So, what is it that you don't but, but like? We, it? But we did. We got. We had three homes. They were going to be our pension. We we're going to sell them all off, make mm -hmm. a million and a half, and then it all went wrong. Yeah. So my future self is obviously an idiot who's thinking, "Well, this is going to. We're going to have these homes, and which is what we did. Mm -hmm. And diddle 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 do. And then, of course, always thinking of eating properly. What the... Always thinking of eating properly. Do you know what? what? does it mean Do you know what eat? I've noticed? Tell me now, what well, does it mean it means to eat properly? To eat, uh, Would... food that you could normally cook in the kitchen. It means not eating food out of boxes with lots of oh, chemicals that's not that? even food. Who does that? Who does that? Well, I don't know. We don't. No, we when generally don't. When was the last time don't. we bought a box to eat out of? <laughs> really? I yeah. No, did did we? Have no, well, I mean, I have got a few in the freezers. Have what? Some kind of what? box, to, you know, a Buddha bowl in a box. Oh, but you told me that was because they were so healthy and just. The well, right I don't thing. think they are, because I mean, if I was to get one right now and you'd see the ingredients, it probably isn't healthy. Right. Do you want me to get it? No, thank you. No. Here's the thing. So we're kind of eating properly-ish. Yes. Good headwind. Yes, but this is about your future self. This is about being twenty and thinking. Yes, right. But we right, okay. And so the so what should we what what should we do now? Well, we're, we're fucked now. Oh, good. So really, all of well, this is actually, about to say we're fucked because we didn't do this. No, no, we're not fucked because if we want to live to eighty or ninety, do we I? still got. 10, 15 years ahead, then we could still eat for that person. You've really got this. It is a bit weird, darling, let me say. This, Tell me this what. neurotic sense of eating when we don't eat like that. But you still want to eat like that, but we don't eat like that, but you still want to eat like that, but we don't eat like what that. What are you talking about? What Eating what? Healthy. Oh, you mean we don't want to eat healthy? 
Well, I'm obviously sure. we don't, because I'm assuming we don't, because you keep going on about we have to eat healthy. So you don't think we're eating healthy. The reason I don't think that I'm eating healthy, I'll leave you out of this, is because I'm fat and overweight. If I was right, eating healthy, it, I would be slim and svelte. But what? And look oh, like... Oh, um, so what would that take then? <laughs> Help me. Um, Not eating. Yeah. All right. But here we are. So it, could you just give it up and say, you know, I'm 74. Here I am. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my life, however long. Could be next week. Could be in t 20 years. You could be 94. Christ. Highly unlikely, but you could be. Yeah. So why don't I just enjoy that? Okay. Because this constant talking about eating properly doesn't get us anywhere. If it did, we wouldn't be fat. No, excuse me, but it does get me somewhere. So when I order food, I think about healthy food. Right. What is healthy food? Bacon and egg? Well, I don't think bacon is particularly but healthy. But that's what you get. I do. Do you see what I mean, babe? It's all a contradiction of... Oh, fuck off. I, I don't mean, know You what just to want say. to talk. Is that, uh, this is it, isn't it? This is this. You just want to talk about it. Well, it is a podcast. I think it's very cute. I don't know if you've noticed that. It's very cute. You want to talk about it, but you it don't want to podcast. do it. It is a podcast. If it was left to you, what would we talk about? We talk about being happy. Do and it awake then now. Go on. And alive. Do it. And enjoying our life. Go on. We saw these people yesterday. That we had a good laugh. We had a. We were there for two hours, and we had a good laugh. At least I did. And they were in their eighties. And they're in their eighties, you see, because they eat properly. And we're back to the food again. No. Everything keeps coming round. You to brought it back to the food. Be, talk about being happy. Well, of course, happy is just a state of mind because your happy could be my sad. Yeah. So really, it's down to you. What? And, and happy is this very esoteric, fluffy kind of a word because it's happy, happy. I'm happy. You, now, listen, you're happy when you're singing. Yes. So you like to sing. Mm-hmm. That makes you happy. Yes. Can you sing all the day, every day? I don't know. Have you noticed that I'm sulking a little bit and gone oh. quiet? Because well, you said I talk too new? much. That's new, pussycat. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. You d no, I think you just like to... You get something that you've listened to the night before and you want to talk about it. Yes. Me with my horrible little brain goes, well, but that's not right. We're not doing... That doesn't make sense. Why we do... So you see what I mean? Not really. Not really, of course not. And one day you might. Carry on about being happy. I am. I'm trying desperately. So, happy, happy, joy, joy. That's, um, I think, I think overall you and I are pretty happy. We can't be happy all the time because that would mean that we're on chemicals taking things. Um, because life isn't happy all the time. Would you agree with that? Mm-hmm. Good. There's struggles. There's struggles. Problems. Things that crop up that you've no idea about. You're Water happily heaters. sitting there and the next minute there's something wrong with one of the kids or the grandkids. Or this one's doing that and they're angry and horrible and this one's abusing that. And what did I do? And then the water heater goes... <laughs> it's like that. Mm -hmm. It's just life lifing. So I want to look at my life and go, life will be lifing, up and down, in and out. Yes, it, you might well do that, but there we are. That's happy to me, life lifing, up and down, in and out. Great. So What's you're... happy to you? Oh. I'm not talking. <laughs> really? Well, here's the thing, Jeff, ah. about you. I've noticed that if I bring something to the table, which I bring a lot to the table... Oh, you certainly do. There is a lot about. of information 
popping out. You pretty much disparage it. it usually, because it doesn't make any sense what you say. That, so that whole research on the future self doesn't make any but sense. But who researched it? What was his Universities. name? Universities. Well, was I it a guy them... on drugs? No, it it's somebody scratching his arse one morning and says, this is what... We... Or universities. Yes. Who are academic by nature, so they're thinking of thinking of thinking. Mm. Oh, I'm thinking of thinking of thinking about being your future self. Let me write a dissertation based on... Well, I don't know. It just seems like a good idea now because of my thinking. Who never? Is there anybody that you actually like? Apart from you. Mm. That was good. Little sucking up. <laughs> um, that I like. Oh, I like lots of. I mean, all right. I love watching the comics on. Um, on YouTube, I love interesting conversations. There's that guy, the CEO of things, uh, that he brings out people and they say stuff, and you go, "Oh my God." And then you go, oh my, what a load of rumpo that was that I sat and listened to. None of that makes any sense to me. It's all about me. Whatever makes sense to me is seemingly okay. What doesn't make sense to me is not okay. What my definition of happy is just based on me. My truth is just based on me and my points of view. It's not the truth because I don't think anybody knows what the truth is. It's a conglomeration of thoughts shooting through the atmosphere. And we pick up a thought here and a thought there. And we, oh, that's my truth. I have no idea what the truth is. I just know what I think is my point of view. And I call it my truth. <laughs> carry on. I don't want to carry on. I've just depressed you now. It's depressing it's when you don't kind of yes and, you know, the whole improv thing of, you know, I say da da da, and you, if you had said, for example, when I said about your future self, you'd said, yes, and I think that that's a great idea to build a relationship with your future self so that that future self is no longer a stranger, they're a friend. Let's, let's build a relationship now about our future selves. Mm -hmm. Off you go. Um, what does it look like? Talk to me. This is your future self. I probably don't have long hair because, you know, I'll probably have li thin little hair. Crikey. Let's start with a real positive here. <laughs> this is my future self. A bald old woman. Right? <laughs> and I think I can safely rest my case again. <laughs> God. And this is my wife, this bald old lady sitting in the corner drooling. It's her future self, you know. She's very happy. <laughs> oh. oh, God, you're right. It's awful, oh. isn't it? <laughs> and then if I have if I have lost weight, it'll just be skin Oh, wrinkle everywhere. Just hanging in like oh, flaps. God. Like flaps on an envelope. Oh, God. Bald and flaps of flesh. Oh, Lord. Jesus, mumbling in the corner. <laughs> and another fucking thing. <laughs> what are you saying over there? Oh, deaf as well. You'll, you'll be totally deaf. I'll probably be rude as well. I always remember your you uncle rude. Jack, you know, when he was in Scotland. He was very funny and he'd gone to see his mother-in-law in an old people's home. And there was a woman and there was... <laughs> Sitting in a chair, and she's like, "Do you want a sweetie?" <laughs> oh God! Don't, no, don't say started. anything horrible, please. She lifted don't, her skirt. Don't. <laughs> oh, stop, love. So, oh, I probably God. will be one of those rude old women. Like, do you want to see it? Oh, tit? right, 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 right. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be called a tit. It would be called a pap. <laughs> Oh, down yes. to your knees. Listen, oh, yes. It's, so it's a little nonsense, this stuff, isn't it? Oh, well, it can well, be. Well, I, yeah, I yes. heard a th an expert <laughs> talk about it. Well, <sighs> I mean, to evolve, though, we do need people that Why do Why can't we be our own expert, kind of babe? Research. Why can't we be our own well, expert? Well, I think we always have been. We see life, we hear totally different stories, like the Republicans say this, the Democrats say that. 
um, these people say this, the church says that, the diddly do, de diddly do. I want to be my own expert and look at it all and go, okay, this is what I think, therefore it's my truth. Yes. That's it. We have to Listening be open-minded to as well. It's like bullshit. The problem with this, once Rah. you've looked at everything, you also have to be open-minded, right? So that well, you that's can what I'm saying. change. I want to be my own expert by being open-minded mm. and seeing the whole plethora of life. Mm. Not just this narrow, well, this is, you know, you have to write to your future self. <laughs> and then you can, then you'll, you'll be able to, and they will write back. <laughs> But they, they did and you find can sit in the corner <laughs> drooling because people will have taken you away. Mm. What a lump of... There are certain things, though, darling, that people find work, that do work. So, for example, Working. if Works. you if you, um, if you set a goal and you, ah. and you set it as years, you know, in five years, you're less likely to do it than if you set it in days. I don't oh, know, five times three. I totally agree. This long term plan is bullshit. I've had long term plans and then I forget about them because they're so long term I can't remember them. Right. But today I'm going to go out and make 400 calls. That I can do. Mm -hmm. And I'm not coming back until I've done them. Right. Like that. Doing, yeah. doing the work. Hey. Doing the work. I want to get a little political just for a moment. Oh, Ooh. really? Yeah, I do, because... Um, and then it's on to the royals after that, is it? No, I won't talk about the oh, royals, good. but I was... I, you know, I haven't really been what listening and following Trump and his indictment and stuff. But when we talked to those two people yesterday, when we had coffee, and he was talking about, you know... He's going to go to jail, he yeah. thinks. He's definitely going to jail. I uh, I started looking at, like, you know, what ha what has Trump? And there's, like, 13 indictments about him. 13, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. that one phone call that he did, mm -hmm. uh, 13 times he lied. The, pro and the problem is with all of this mm -hmm. is it's all, it's not concrete. We actually saw him walk into a bank, shoot the teller, and take the money. <laughs> Got the bastard. It's innuendos and saying this and then retracting that and doing this and retracting this and not saying that saying that we can prove he said that but does it actually make anything illegal and so it's he's riding the storm because that's what he, he couldn't care less mm. he's just going to keep saying he's innocent and it was all this stitch up and, and if you're slow minded you'll go along with it do you think that he is a model for a dictator sailing a rough sea? I mean, he does seem to just keep going, doesn't he? Oh, that's what we need. We need lots of Trumps sailing <laughs> the... Really? Really? No, no. So, shall we talk about your future self again? And uh, <laughs> this is what Trump did. He writes to his future self. He can't even spell. So why do you say things that are very frightening? Like, we need it. This is what... The mega people say, we need him because he's strong and he rides the... Really? Really? No, I'm not. I'm not a Trumpster. So you if you... You just said it. You just said no, it. No, no. Here's the thing, Don. It's like, it goes back to your truth. You have to be open-minded. And I'm sure even Hitler had something that he did that was good before oh. he went a complete lunatic, you know. But everybody like he, does something Like, he had good. the autobahn, didn't he? He was the... Uh, the person that started the autobahn and well, had all the workers. Well, because the country was bankrupt after the First World War. So he got everybody, literally all the males of, it, of a certain age, had to get out with a shovel. And they literally dug roads all around Germany, mm -hmm. which we're still riding today. That's what I'm saying. Right. What, what I'm, but what he I'm was a fucking nutcase, babe. Yes, he was. But listen to me, for God's mm. sakes. What I'm saying is, if you're open-minded, even the worst oh. person will have something that you can learn from. That's all. I mean, if I'm in a really difficult situation and I need to ride through it, I will probably think, well, you know, there are people that have done that in the most... Dastardly di way. Diver yes. Dastardly, unmentionable way they've That's done all it. I'm saying. Yes, very good. It's so As opposed helpful. to... It is helpful, Jess. As opposed to just thinking everybody is shit. Not everybody's shit, but the people that you think are shit are shit. And then you don't... Usually the people that you think are shit are shit. Hello? 
That's Hello. why they're called shit. <laughs> we watch them with an open mind. Yes. And we look at people who are responding and the way they respond. And every, it's there for us to see. Now, have we got the intelligence to look at them? This is a totally thing. Or are we just ignorant? Not meaning ignorant is a nasty thing. I'm ignorant if I don't know how to look at a super radiating star in the 14th galaxy. I'm ignorant about that. Mm. I admit it. Do I want to know about it? Not really. Black but holes. But there's ignorance everywhere. But if you get ignorance about people, you're on a dangerous ground because you'll go along with the ignorance of the ignorant, which is what Trump does. He plays on their ignorance. Mm. Oh, yeah, it is, it is interesting watching him. Um, so he's talking about, you know, and they're out to get you, and they're using me to get to you, but you're yes. the ones that they're getting yeah. at, like that kind of, it's like, oh my God. He's and I'm this famous multi-million person, but please send $10 to help me fight. Really? Mm. So if you were a billionaire, really? Oh dear Lord, help. Oh, and the Christians think he's great. Well, that's because he's against abortion, isn't he? Or at least he says well, he, he is. Says he, is. He, he wouldn't know. He wouldn't know the Bible if it bit his ass. But there we are. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. I bet. I you bet you that he can quote from the Bible. Oh, I and bet, I bet you can't. He, I bet he does. I bet he's learned a few quotes that will. People be oh, like, he, oh, he has. He's been given his script to say yes. when he go. Oh, yeah, he's done that. He has no idea what it means. Mm. You see, that's ignorance. Mm. Well, didn't he sleep with Mein Kampf under his pillow or in his bedside drawer? I th well, I think that's somebody said I... something, but I think that's another bullshit thing. Is it? But again, I, you know, maybe he did, and yes, there we go. Mein Kampf was always a great book. Bloody hell. We really are... Oh, my God, we're going down a hole now, aren't we, darling? Shits. What can we do to bring this... Well, I can... I'll write to my future self. <laughs> What can I say? <laughs> oh, don't be like this future self. Be more open. Oh, and I'm writing back to you. Yes, go fuck yourself, you old fat bastard. I'm not taking any... You're going to be dead soon. Why talk to me anymore? What's it like when to we be... were... Last night we were with friends. We've got lots of friends, by the way, and we're always with them. And it's oh, wonderful. I thought you never had any. I do. And, yeah. uh, and this friend came in and uh, they booked a cruise oh my for next God, June and yes. you were so funny you were like I hate you I hate them so much now <laughs> but I love it that you yes, said we're flying it. over to Dublin and then up to Belfast to get <laughs> this it's only got 600 people on it and it's so glorious and the food there and it's amazing and then we go around to Scotland and then we go around to Norway and Sweden <laughs> and end up in Denmark for 11 days and then we fly back from Copenhagen. Oh, oh God, I hope the what? fucking ship sinks. Oh, stop. Now, what is it that makes us not like things that... I mean, this is a friend of ours who's doing this, going But you know that I'm... There's a little truth in what I'm saying, but yes. it's, it's funny. So I'm, I'm, I'm exaggerating everything. Right. And they're going to have a great time and God bless them and it's wonderful. And you're happy for Except them. Except I hate them. Right. Because I want to do that, yes. but I actually don't really want to do that because I've done that before. <laughs> but I've never been on a cruise. You've never been on a cruise. Uh, no, I've never been on a cruise, but I've been on a boat dropping at all these different places. I have. Oh, well, we have bare boated round the British no. Virgin Islands. Well, yeah, but I mean, on a big boat. Yes. So I sailed from Newcastle to oh, Denmark. Oh, I, I, I sailed on sailed that back. big boat. Well, there you go. So yeah. you've been on boats. But it's not a cruise, darling. What's, what's the definition of a cruise, my darling? A cruise, a definition of a cruise is you get on a boat w one place and you're you're catered for and you you sleep there and you go and That's visit what I places. Did. Mm -hmm, yeah. Oh, all right then. Yeah. Boat to Denmark, we yeah. sleep there. Yeah. No, but that so was just mind. a fucking. So, that was just a a boat going over to Denmark. That's like going on a fucking train <laughs> to New York, or you know, again, a cruise that, that's is a cruise. different. Going on a train to New York. Would it's be not a cruise. a cruise, you big. Twat. <laughs> Thank you. 
God, sometimes, I, I don't know if it's me or you, but you're just so annoying. I have that effect on you. There's no doubt about you it. You do, but I 54 think... 54 years of me annoying you. It's, it's my annoyance, though, and this is what I kind of can't quite get around. It's like you're being you... And your being you sometimes annoys the ass oh, of me. and I agree with but you. But it's me. my annoyance. And no, I... no, it's me being annoying. I know I'm annoying, babe, and I say that I say stuff just to get a rise out of people. That's my whole life, basically. Sarcasm. Sarca... Sarcasm. I can't even say it. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, but that's all I've got. <laughs> and I use it as often as I can. Why? And it's appalling. Do you, so you do that to me. So when I come up with an expert, you're deliberately oh, going to go... absolutely. What the fuck? Because to me, it's funny because <laughs> I know you haven't got a leg to stand on. So it's... <laughs> <laughs> so if I... See, again, sarcasm. And what... Ooh. So if I came with the, the, the university, the name, the p- name of the person, the research, and, I mean, then you would take more mm. notice? No. Listen, babe, given today, anybody can write anything about everything. We've no idea what's true anymore. Mm. When I say true, I Fake mean news! True. Because, yeah, it all... I, really, I'm, you know, the BBC, supposedly the hallowed thing. Now it's, we're finding out that they're not that good. And they've been telling big fibs. Oh, well, the guy they, told Diana, Lady Princess Di, that uh, the bank had done some wrong things and he'd forged the bloody bank statements and complete Whatever, I don't lie. Know what that means, but anyway, so we know Oh I don't know what that yes, means because you just said it, you yes. little cunt. <laughs> Char- charming. <laughs> and here we go again. <laughs> around the mulberry bush. <sighs> no, I'm I'm really I don't know who to believe anymore. Believe me. I go on to I I go onto YouTube to listen to the comedy and the comments. And I'm listening to the comments, and there's part of me going, that's probably not true. He just said that. For, because he wanted to. You mean the comedian said that? or some No, the comment? guys that are on the, the, the talk show bits that I watch. Okay. You know, the podcasts that yes. are visual. Yes. Yes. So always now, in the back of my mind is, is that true? Or have they just said that? You know, studies show that people have very small teeth from Africa. You go, really? Okay, then. You just made that up. I just made that up. Right. Okay. But if I say it often enough, people are going, let's have a look at your teeth. (laughs) Jesus, you're from Africa. I've got the biggest teeth on the world. Well, you would, yes, you're like... Mine are fucking like a donkey. (laughs) Yes. But do you see what I mean? It doesn't... I don't know anymore what is real. What's an actual fact? What is that can be proven? Because people just say stuff now. Because Mr. Trump allowed them all to come out and say whatever they want. It's called free speech. I'm an American having free speech. Oh dear. Yeah, I don't God. know what this free speech. There's fucking free speech in many places in the world, not just in America. You can. Eighty-nine countries all have free speech. In London. Eighty-nine countries. All are de- democratic. 89 can all have freedom of movement. Okay. Shut up. Mm. Freedom. Freedom is a heavy price to pay because you can't shout fire in a theatre and say, well, I'm doing my thing. I can say whatever I want. Ludicrous people. L- ignorant. Again. God, I don't know where you're going with this. This is I like don't know gone either. really black Rawr, and dark. And, and the other thing I hate about it is... Do you just hate people? You just hate people and keep banging the cup down. Yes. You, yeah, I don't know, baby boy. No, I don't hate people. I see lots of great people, but the ones that I see on television... And the ones that come out with just appalling, nasty, vile stuff is yeah. like, why? Because they've been allowed to now. Actually, you're right. Pandora's There's box all of these, has been opened. Uh, like these broadcasters, these news ca- 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 whatever the fuck you call it, you know, on, and they're 
They've been there for years and years and years, the, this amazing person. And then they find out he's an absolute wanker. Like fucking Jimmy Savile in, in the UK that was oh. supposedly this wonderful guy. And he was a pedophile. I mean, mm. an absolute, and worse than a pedophile. And, right. and, and we so. all loved him. We didn't see beyond what he said he was. That's what you're there you saying. Go. There you go. We, we say what In a it nutshell. is. Yeah. We have to see beyond. You, you're absolutely right with me and experts. I mean, mm. I, I probably mm -hmm. could belong to a cult very easily. Oh, you are the molding block that they're looking for. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was taking. Write uh, to your future self right now and see. I was taking mm. uh, English literature and we were studying Shakespeare. Ah. And this teacher, he was a guy, and uh, he looked horrible. He had like yellowish skin and kind of. Uh, but you fancied him. Yeah, because he was because he was like a he knew professor. all this stuff about Shakespeare. Oh, God, and, so easily led. I know what the fuck. He was horrible, and I, my friend in the class, she was like, "What the hell?" I mean, not that I did anything, or you know. Oh sure. Yeah. I did not you show never a did tit anything. or. You've never Lego. done anything, have you? No, I haven't. I'm amazing. Design I am amazing. Right. But I think on that happy note... Yes. You think we've said enough? Oh, I think you've said <laughs> more than enough. No, I've definitely said more than enough. I get carried away and start saying stuff. Then I become ignorant. Because you are an American. Well, I didn't think I wasn't. Well, no, sometimes when you're saying free speech and each and you know, you, you can sound a little disparaging. Oh, oh, oh. Well, but I'm disparaging about every country where they're being disparaging. Mm. Look at the UK. Dear Lord. But anyway, there we go. Right. But on that happy note, so... we wish you all a wonderful day. We want you all writing to your future self and then waiting for the return mail. <laughs> to see what your future self has to say. How wonderful. We'll talk about it tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye, bye future bye. self. Bye.